Hello and welcome to How to Play Cribbage. This video will cover how to play the card game Cribbage with four players. To play you will need a 52 card deck and a cribbage board. The four players will divide into two teams. Teammates will sit across from each other. Each player is dealt five cards, one card at a time. The remaining deck is placed next to the cribbage board. The object of the game is to be the first team to 121 points. Points are scored during three phases of the game. The pegging phase, the hand counting phase, and the crib counting phase. During the pegging phase, players will take turns playing a card face up in front of them and keeping a running count of the cards. Face cards count 10, aces count 1, all other cards count face value. A team will score 2 points if their card played brings the count to a total of 15 or 31. 2 points are scored if a pair of cards of the same rank are played consecutively. 6 points are scored if 3 cards of the same rank are played consecutively. 12 points are scored if 4 cards of the same rank are played consecutively. A run is 3 or more cards in consecutive rank. If a card is played that creates a run with the previous 2 cards played, three points are scored. A run of four scores four points, a run of five scores five points, and so on. Before the pegging phase begins, each player will discard one card face down to the dealer. These four cards form the crib that will be scored later in the game. After the crib is formed, the player left of the dealer will cut the remaining deck. The dealer will take the top card from the cut deck this card is placed face up and is known as the start card. Players will use this card when counting their hands and for the crib later in the game. Once the start card is set, the player left of the dealer will start the count for the pegging phase. When a player lays down a card, they will announce the running total. Natasha lays down a queen and announces 10. Play moves clockwise left to Tony. Tony lays down a 5 and announces the running total of 15. Tony's team scores 2 points for the 15. Play moves to Clint who lays down a queen and announces 25. The running total cannot go over 31, so Steve has to play his ace and announces 26. Natasha cannot play without going over 31 and has to pass on playing. A pass is communicated by saying go. Tony also announces go. Play moves to Clint who plays the 2 and announces 28. All the other players must announce go and play returns to Clint. Clint plays a 3 and announces 31. Clint's team scores 5 points, 2 points for the 31, and 3 more points for the run. The last 3 cards played were the ace, 2, and 3 for a run of 3. Once the total hits 31, the count is reset to 0. Steve starts the new count with a 7 and announces 7. Natasha plays a jack and announces 17. Tony plays a jack and announces 27, plus scores 2 points for the pair of jacks. Clint plays the ace and announces 28. All other players announce go. When 3 players announce go and the 4th player cannot play, 1 point is scored for the go. Play then moves left to the next player to start the new count. Steve starts the new count with an 8 and announces 8. Natasha plays a 6 and announces 14. Tony plays a 10 and announces 24. Clint has no more cards and is out for the rest of the pegging phase. Steve and Natasha announce go and Tony takes one point for the go. Steve starts another count with the 8 and announces 8. Natasha plays her 9 and announces 17. Tony plays the last card, a 10, and announces 27. Tony scores 4 points for his team, 3 points for the run of 8, 9, and 10 played, and the player of the last card scores 1 point. Play now moves to the next phase, which is the hand counting phase. Players will score points for the cards in their hand for the following combinations. Each set of cards that adds up to 15 scores 2 points. A pair scores 2 points. 6 points are scored for a 3 of a kind. 12 points are scored for a 4 of a kind. A run is 3 to 5 cards in consecutive rank and scores a point for each card in the run. A flush of four cards in the same suit in a player's hand scores four points. An additional point for the flush is scored if the start card is also the same suit as the flush cards. If a player has a jack in their hand that is the same suit as the start card, 
one point is scored. The player left of the dealer is first to count their hand. The start card is the king of clubs and can be used while counting hands. Natasha scores two points for a 15 with the 9 and the 6. Three more points are scored for the jack, queen, king, run. And four more points are scored for the flush of four spades in hand. Natasha's team scores a total of nine points. Play moves left to Tony to count his hand. Tony can make four combinations of 15 using the five with each 10, the jack, and the king for a total of eight points and scores an additional two points for the pair of tens. Tony's team scores 10 points for his hand. Clint has two combinations of 15 with the queen, three, and two, and the other with the king, three, and two. Clint also has a run of three for a total of seven points. Steve has two combinations of 15 in the seven with each of the eights, and a pair of eights for a total of six points. Once all the players have counted their hands, the dealer will count the crib hand. The scoring for the crib hand is the same as the hand scoring, except a flush has to include the start card for a five card flush. There's no points for having just a four card flush with the crib cards. Steve gets three combinations of 15 using the four and the ace with each of the kings and gets an additional six points for the three of a kind in kings for a total of 12 points. The deal now moves left to Natasha, who will get the crib this round. The first team to score 121 points or more wins the game. If a jack is flipped up as the start card, the player that flipped up the card scores two points for their team. A run in the pegging phase does not need to be in order. A run does have to be within the same count of 31. That wraps up how to play four-player cribbage. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and find more game tutorials by subscribing to the channel, Gather Together Games. Thanks for watching.